Hello friends. Today we are going to perform the experiment of or the how to measure the frequency using frequency meter and the uh, frequency using the slotted line. We will compare both the frequencies. Okay. So let us start our uh, experimental setup. First of all the klystron power supply. We have turned on the klystron power supply. Klystron mount, klystron oscillator, isolator, frequency meter. We are going to find out the frequency using this frequency meter by rotating this drum. Variable attenuator, slot and line. We are also going to find the distance or the maxima and minima from this slotted line and detector mount. So let us tune the klystron first of all. So first step is to keep the mode switch in amplitude modulation mode. Set the beam voltage to 300 volt. Check the beam current. Set the reflector voltage for the maximum deflection. BSWR meter. So it was the first maximum. So this was here we are getting less uh, deflection compared to 180. So we'll give 180 volt. You can also change amplitude and frequency knobs. So to get the maximum deflection, we are changing the frequency knob. We will set VSWR meter at the zero scale, zero degree scale. And we have kept this uh, range switch at 40 dB 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 dB scale, we are achieving 0 dB. Okay, so using frequency meter, keep this meter on uh, either upper side or lower side in one direction and rotate slowly. and observe the dip in VHWR meter. So here we are achieving the dip. Stop at that point. Observe the reading. In between ten point zero zero, ten point zero five, and ten point one. So it is ten point zero six. Ten point zero six gigahertz. So we note the reading using frequency meter ten point zero six gigahertz okay. keep it on either one direction so this was the reading from the frequency meter and this is how we can uh, measure the frequency using this frequency meter. So now this is the slotted line. I have told you about this slotted line. There is a scale is given. We are going to find out the maximum, two maximum points as we will change
first of all we have to connect uh, this bnc cable to the connector of the slotted line okay So now we have to observe the two maximas on VSW armature. Yes, we will change slotted line section probe on this scale. Our needle is moving. So we have to find out the uh, two maximum points where the needle gets the maximum attenuation we have to find out these two points so there are two maximum points the distance between two maximum points is given by half wavelength lambda by 2 okay. and the distance between one maxima and minima is given by lambda by 4 okay. so from that we can find out the guide wavelength okay. so this is the you can see Now I am changing. So this was the first minima. This is the minima. Minima point. You can also find out this minima point and this maxima point. So distance between this maxima point and this minima point is lambda by 4. When it goes high, this is the second minima. So let us note down this reading. It is 10.8 10.8 centimeter again goes high so from 10.8 and again starting This is the maximum point. It is twelve point eight. So you can check it out. So we are getting two points. B one is 10.8 centimeter b2 12.8 centimeter so b2 minus b1 the difference between these two maxima points successive maxima point so this is the two successive maxima point this distance is 12.8 minus 10.8 so that is 2 centimeters 2 centimeters this is the distance between maxima and minima point that is lambda by 4 this distance is given by lambda by 2 okay so lambda g is given by 2 times this b that is 4 4 centimeter now we have the equation to find out the frequency 1 divided by lambda 0 square is equal to 1 divided by lambda g square plus 1 divided by lambda c square okay. so what is lambda c lambda c is the cutoff wavelength this cutoff wavelength can be find out using the internal dimensions of the waveguide see this is the uh, waveguide so its internal dimensions 
due to measure the internal dimensions this internal dimensions for uh, our test bench is fixed that is 2.3 cm so it is given by 2 multiplied by broader dimension a this broader dimension broader dimension is a and vertical narrow dimension b so 2a a is equal to 2.3 cm here so 2 multiplied by 2.3 so it is 4.6 cm lambda c now we have the value of lambda g and lambda c lambda c is the cutoff wavelength lambda g is the guide value we are going to find out lambda z. So lambda zero is given by one divided by lambda g that is four centimeter. Four centimeter square plus one divided by four point six square. This value is in terms of centimeter. So we will get. So we will get 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 plus 1 divided by 4.6 square 0 0.0472 So we will get 0 0.1097 So lambda 0 square will be 9.115 so our lambda 0 wavelength will be 3.01 centimeter so from, from this wavelength we can easily find out the frequency f is equal to c divided by lambda 0 that is 3 into 10 raised to 10 divided by 3.01 in terms of centimeters so we can get simply we can say this is uh, 10 raised to 10 so 10 gigahertz we can say 10 gigahertz okay so using frequency meter we have achieved 10.06 gigahertz while here we are achieving 10 gigahertz so both the results are same so you can uh, see how we can measure the frequency using frequency meter how we can measure the frequency using this solid line section you can also find out the vswr and vswr that we will see in uh, another video so thank you